<clears throat> Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here on my shield. And I'm back here on my shield. And I'm going to talk about some of the NFL uh, news. We're going to talk about uh, news, some news here, ladies and gentlemen, uh, across the NFL. So I just upload the NBA news video. If you haven't watched that, go watch them. I'm going to upload my NFL news video here. And I'll probably get to do some wrestling, get all my news videos out for the day, and then get all my focus back into the Cowboys game. But the Cowboys do with the coordinator, Dan Quinn, who's going to be charged with stopping Tom Brady tonight in the wild card game, is scheduled to interview Friday for the Broncos head coaching job per source. So Dallas should just keep Dan Quinn, though, in my opinion. Uh, been really good since he's got there uh, for the Dallas Cowboys. So I really think they should do it. Let's just keep them. The Broncos don't need another defensive-minded head coach. They've got too many defensive-minded head coaches. It's not worked out. Vic Fangio and Nathaniel Hackett, they hired. He's not. He just didn't turn out to be good. He's a much better defense coordinator than a head coach. Um, and so... And they don't even have draft picks either, so I don't know why you'd want to go there. And they don't, and they just don't need to get another defensive mind head coach. You need a better head coach just trying, and instead of trying to consistently get defensive minds when it's not working. Uh, the Colts requested permission to interview Giants defensive coordinator Wink Martindale for their head coaching job. Per source, Martindale's defense is fresh off Sunday's wild card win over Minnesota, where his when his unit shut down Vikings wide receiver. Justin Jefferson. So they shut him down. Seven catches, 47 yards, no touchdowns. The Colts are trying to get a good coach here, but they're trying to get a good coach, and Mark uh, Mark Winton or Wink Martindale will definitely be a good uh, option. And Wink has always said he wanted to become a head coach. I think if he gets a chance, he takes the first opportunity he gets at a head coaching job. Because he's always said he wants to be a head coach. So it could definitely happen. But if the Giants do let Mark Wink Martindale go, that would be a big loss because he's such a good defense. He's a really good defense coordinator uh, in the NFL. So I'm pretty sure Giants fans would say, no, don't let him go. The 49ers submitted, the Colts submitted a request to interview 49ers defensive coordinator, coordinator D'Amico Ryans for their head coach per sources. Ryan's schedule is jammed. He will start his head coach interviews Thursday with the Broncos and is expected to meet with, with the Colts as well. Texans and Cardinals before Sunday's playoff game. So, Ryan's schedule is definitely jammed. The Colts, you're seeing a theme here. They're submitting requests to interview defensive coordinators. So, I think they're trying to get a defensive-minded head coach. Um... There shouldn't really be, inter be any interviewing until the season is done, in my opinion. Like, the Tuesday after the Super Bowl is when they, they should be allowed. Like, it's just too distracting. The fact these coaches have to do these interviews in the middle of the playoffs is ridiculous. It can wait until the season is over. Like, they, can, they should wait and focus on winning a Super Bowl. It's just ridiculous, all these distractions. <laughs> the league should really pass a rule that no team can interview anyone until after the Super Bowl. So it's just, it's just too distracting. Ohio State quarterback C.J. Stroud has announced he's entering the 2023 NFL Draft, coming off a strong performance against Georgia in that playoff game where they lost because their defense and then the kicker. So, but I feel he's going to be the second best quarterback or the second quarterback off the board. But, I don't know. I just feel like Will Evans is a bit better. I feel he's going to be... Probably top 5 pick, though. Probably either top 5 or 10. The Buccaneers activated center Ryan Jensen from the injured reserve. He's probably not 100%, but... Your, your season's on the line. You gotta go all out. I don't... I just don't know if he's 100%.
J.K. Dobbins didn't hold back on how much, how much Lamar's absence meant to the team during Sunday night's wildcard loss to the Bengals Town reports. If we had Lamar, we'd have won too. But I felt like they played their ass off offensively, even with the mistakes. Lamar playing obviously changes the game, but they had a real shot anyways without Lamar Jackson. And it's really not fair to Tyler Huntley. He played really well, just got very unlucky trying to make a play on the goal line when it was tied. Then he should take that up with Lamar, who by all accounts is healthy enough to play, but he's chosen not to play. And you would have won if you... If you just ran Dobbins in the red zone right there on the two-yard line. I mean... And this ain't a knock on Huntley. Just Lamar's the better option, but he just didn't play. J.K. Dobbins believed his words were not represented correctly. He said he was asked if he thought they would have won if Lamar Jackson had played, and he answered, yeah, we would have won if Lamar played too. He added, Snoop played a hell of a game. And th So at least he provided context. So he's now correcting himself because his agent's mad at you. Because his my agent was mad at him for posting that quote without context. So Adam Schefter fucked up, had to re right, quote tweet that tweet. Basically, because I guess uh, J.K. Dobbins' agent was mad at him or something. So, yeah. So next week's divisional round matchups are at 4.30 on NBC, Jacksonville uh, versus Kansas City uh, uh, on Saturday at 4.30. And then the NFC is Eagles-Giants at 8.15 on Fox. Sunday is Bengals-Buffalo on CBS. And then NFC is San Francisco versus da the winner of Dallas and Tampa. Uh, tonight's wild card will face San Francisco on Sunday. And then, obviously, Sunday, January 29th, you'll have your conference championships. One at 3 o'clock and then one at 6.30. AFC's Final Four is Bengals, Bills, Chiefs, and Jaguars. And the Final Four quarterbacks' ages are Mahomes is 27, Josh Allen's 26, Burrow's 26, and Trevor Lawrence is age 23. So those are your Final Four AFC quarterbacks. This, is, this league is young. So obviously the winner Monday night's Cowboys-Buccaneers game will play at San Francisco. The Carolina Panthers are the latest entrant into the Sean Payton sweepstakes. Receiving permission to interview the former Head coach of their NFC South rival. Carolina, Arizona, Denver, Houston are now all interested in hiring Peyton. Some of the NFL's highest profile coaching deals, Bill Parcells, Bill Belichick, also involved division rivals. If the, Panthers were, were, if the Panthers were able to hire Peyton, he would be the newest entrant to join the list of coaches making an intra-division jump to spice up a rivalry. That would definitely be really interesting if he went to the Carolina Panthers. Uh... Falcons request permission to interview Panthers defensive coordinator Al Halcom per source. I don't know why the Falcons want to get him, but okay. Uh, let's find some more news. The Tides have requested permission to interview Kansas City offensive coordinator Eric Bayanami and senior assistant QB's coach Matt Nagy for their open uh, offensive coordinator job. So they <laughs> Matt Nagy? Are you serious? Two take lows expected back as the Dolphins start in 2023. So yeah, and that's all I've saved for this video, so until next time, I'll Peace.